Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And as you guys probably know, Android 7 at Onuga just came out. I did do a full review video, I'll link to that below. But anyways, there's a way to activate some hidden settings within this operating system. Now this was available in Android 6 at Marshmallow. However, they are a little bit different this time, so I figured I'd make a video on it. So you can activate things such as very intricate notification controls, maybe adding a percentage into your battery icon, other various things. So I wanna show you how you can activate it and also all the various settings that you can change. So let's get started. Now to activate these hidden settings, which is actually called the System UI Tuner, you just go ahead and pull down the status bar and you'll see the settings icon up there. What you're going to want to do is actually press and hold on this icon. I'm going to go ahead and do so, and you'll see it starts to spin, and you'll feel a slight vibrate. You can go ahead and let go, and it'll say System UI Tuner has been added to settings. So just scroll all the way down and you'll see System UI Tuner. It says fun for some, not for all. Basically extra ways to tweak and customize Android, but it's experimental, so keep that in mind and proceed with caution. Got it. Now, we can customize the status bar. So up at the top, you'll see a bunch of various icons and you can customize which icons actually show up. So for example, let's say you don't want your Wi-Fi icon. You'll see a little check mark for Wi-Fi. Watch the Wi-Fi icon, just disappears. Same with let's say airplane mode disappears as well. So you can kind of declutter it up there if there's specific icons you don't need to see. Now there's also one that says battery. So you can actually have it show a battery percentage inside that battery icon. So you'll see it says what, 78. It's a little difficult to see, especially if your battery's under 50%, but uh, that is an option. And also time, show hours and minutes, show hours, minutes, and seconds. You can add that. So you'll see some seconds got added. So that's kind of a neat thing if you need to know a specific time or if you can just do a timer in your head there. So uh, that would be just the status bar. Next, you have do not disturb. So volume button shortcut and show with volume controls. So you'll see here uh, for do not disturb, I can go ahead and change my notification. Now let's, if I tap show with volume controls, you'll see do not disturb pops up as a tick mark. So you can go ahead and check it and hop into do not disturb mode very quickly, which I kind of like. I think I'll leave that on just... Uh, just for now. Finally, let's go ahead and go into other and you'll see enable split screen swipe up gesture. So go ahead and enable that. For me, it does not work on my Nexus 6P and it's very buggy on my Pixel C. So keep that in mind. But basically you would swipe up from that overview button right here and it would enable split screen. Just as you can see, does not work for me. Now there's also power notification controls, which I actually like a lot. And there's various levels. So take a look at these. So you'll see level zero blocks all notifications from the app and level five is basically all access, always peak, uh, always uh, allow full screen interruption, etc. So let's go ahead and turn that on. And now to show off what that does is let's go ahead and swipe over and go into apps. And let's go ahead and go into notifications of a specific app. So let's say I wanted to go to the clock app and change notifications. So you'll see under notifications that level two pops up. And here is kind of how it is graphically shown with a line with various settings. So uh, level five is all the way on the right. Level zero is all the way on the left. You can go ahead and uh, kind of drag it, or you can just go ahead and tap and quickly switch between the two. So there you have it. And then you'll see override, do not disturb, and on the lock screen options as well. So finally, if you want to turn off the system UI tuner, you can do so by using the same method that you used to turn on system UI tuner, right? Pressing and holding that settings icon, or in the upper right-hand corner, you press this drop down and hit remove from settings, hit remove and you'll see it goes away. So that's pretty much it. That's how to activate your hidden settings, the system UI tuner on your Android 7.0 Nougat device. Uh, there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that thumbs up. Also click that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on various social media, all links below. And as always guys, thank you very much for watching.